Should we measure the EC in your root media or the runoff? Well, in this video, we're going to get into it. You're here with Mark Bowell from PerfectGardens.com. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We got our $2.99 membership, and we have a VIP if you need a little more one-on-one. -on -one, link down in the description. First off, if you guys have not checked out my video, How to Check the pH, EC, or Parts Per Million, I would highly recommend to do so. It gives three great examples of how to check your EC and keep it in control throughout your growing season. Although for now, Christine asked a question, basically what's happening is she is feeding 1.0 EC and then a day or two later, she's feeding 0.2 cow mag because she is running cocoa. When she waters the second time, the EC is 0.3, but when she sticks her EC pulse meter into the soil, it reads 0.7. But once again, her runoff is 0.3. And she's wondering what measurement she should go by. Okay, so first off, when you're measuring with 0.1 EC and then the next time you measure at a 0.2, there's two things that I think you really have to take into consideration is how much water runoff you're pouring into your pot and how much is being recollected. And then second, doing some basic math where 1.0 plus 0.2 divided by two, your EC should roughly be about 0.6 if you are feeding the same amount of water each watering. Because if you feed a gallon of, of 1.0 and then you feed a gallon of 0.2, the measurement roughly should be 0.6, which takes into consideration this 0.7 EC in your soil media which would make complete sense. The reason why the 0.3 could also make sense is if, let's say you are feeding a gallon here, but then the next time you only feed a half gallon. And so your water runoff would be 0.3 because it actually takes time for salt to actually dissolve as it's running through your soil media. So when it gets to the end of that, it, would, it could make sense that your 0.2 is only dissolving another 0.1 as it's flowing through its EC meter, it's actually only dissolving a little bit because you're only putting in a less water ratio the second time you're feeding, which would actually make sense because a lot of times growers will do add a, a supplemental cow mag is obviously cocoa needs more calcium magnesium. Why? We've explained this many times before. It's because calcium and magnesium, they need to actually be in your environment throughout the entire growing cycle because magnesium actually helps everything else work better. And then the calcium is a slightly larger mineral. So without having humus or some type of surface area, it's very easy for these minerals to just flow away. In nature, the reason why fertilizers like calcium and magnesium or any of the other trace minerals don't just wash out the system is because they're actually locked up in the dead carcasses of all your microbiology system, your bacteria, your fungi, your protozoa, your worms, all that stuff, they eat minerals. And then the minerals get locked up in the body. So when you're watering in, na in nature, the minerals aren't washing away. They're actually staying exactly where they're at, locked up in the humic layer within your soil because there's stuff for it to hold on to. In your cocoa, there's nothing really for any anything to hold on to. So that's why you have to give supplemental cow mag and additional cow mag at times throughout your growing media while growing in cocoa. The problem I find here is what's going to happen is at some point, if you are not watering with the same amount of water and measuring the actual amount of water runoff, over time, your EC will build up because as you can see right here, it is slightly increasing and less is leaving the system. So that's why it is absolutely important to make sure to measure the EC of your water runoff and if possible, try to measure the root media. If you are starting to get EC differences like this, I would probably wait till this one becomes 1.0 and then just do a really good flush. I would normally recommend doing a flush with drops of balance, one ml per gallon, because it will help through the dissolving of the other salt. Although once again, you have to realize if this is increasing to 0.1 and your run water runoff is still 0 0.4, 0 0.5, when you finally do that flush, you're gonna wanna do your very best to make sure that Let's say you're putting in an EC of 0.1. When you flush, you're going to want to make sure your water runoff is at least 0 0.4, 0 0.5, or until you get down to the EC level that you're looking for within your soil media. After that, then you will go back to a regular feeding and you will have a repeat process, allowing your EC to build up slightly 
and then flushing those excess salts that do build up over time because plants will at times take up one mineral over the other mineral. So if you allow your EC and your soil media to build up too much, the salts will combine together, especially the salts being left behind, kind of like calcification on a shower. Those accumulation of minerals will build up in your soil media, causing nutrient lockout and other plant deficiencies. I hope this video was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. Stress will make your plants produce more oil production. You see this a lot if you bring your LED lights too close to your plants, right? You get frost tips or white tips, right? That's all because of stress.